All right, all right. It's me, Cindy, up on your screen. I'm here with the man himself. You know what it is. <laughs> We are headed to point 14. I just decided to vlog. What are we going to talk about? I don't know. But we listen to music while we go. First up, we have coffee. Yeah. We need coffee because you're drinking some, eating something coffee. that's very, very dry. Yeah, drinking from Tobago. Dry. Go, go, go. Don't say no, that. No. We love Tobago. We love Tobago. We love Tobago. But you know, it's my fault because I had a cake overnight. I just left it out. So it's dry. It's dry. So we need some coffee to rush it down. However, what do you think about this? I'm thinking we're going to Starbucks. Don't know this appetizable thing, but we're probably going to Starbucks. But I like to do something a bit more local. But I don't know. Well, based on where we are at, yeah, issue is that we may not get to because we're on the highway. It's either Starbucks or you wait until we get to Shaguanas for rituals, which is Trini. It's like the same thing. Well, it's Trini. It's a conglomerate. Well, like but it's, but a, it's a Trini brand. Okay. Well, I mean, you made Starbucks the call. is more international brand. You made the call. You made the call. But it's up to you. Can you wait to get to Shaguanas? No, no, no. It's Starbucks. Oh, Lord. Tobago <laughs> go dry. Tobago <laughs> I do not endorse the things that this boy is saying. I do not endorse. Okay? I, I, no, no. <laughs> yeah, we love we love Tobago sweet. Tobago sweet. Tobago sweet. <laughs> There's no dry cake, but we're not <laughs> So let me let me give you all some updates based on what I have to do today. Update number one. You also in the last vlog that I picked up my winter jacket. My winter jacket is beautiful, but there's one flaw. The flaw is that, through no fault of their own, when the shipping company was inspecting the item, they end up, because you don't have to open the boxes, right? They end up cutting the item. That was all sorted out. I have no problem with them still. This is the first, this is the first time it's happened, but it's also based on how the, the shipper packaged it, right? So I already got that. Thank you so much, Tropical Express, for sorting it out, no problem. My issue now is that I still need a winter jacket. So based on where it was cut, I took it to my designer and she said that she could try to finagle something to make it look like a unique jacket. I like unique. I'm unique. So we have to do that. We have to collect that. FedEx still has not delivered my package. I'm hoping that they deliver it today because that is my travel backpack. Drop my brother down to South, see my mom. Um, I want to try one of my, uh, there's a massaging machine that I have that's kind of, for want of a better word, shocks you. Mm. I want to try it in my mom's back because it has, it has yeah. helped Peter a lot with his old muscle injuries. So when I, I want to try that on mommy, right? And then coming back up the road, pick up the jacket by the designer, come home, rest. Because we are on vacation. Vacation, vacation. Let me ask you, what do you think? You have learned so far. Okay, three things. What surprised <laughs> you? Sure? you? Yes. You sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay, go on. Yes. What surprised you for 2023? Now remember, this is going public, so it, it, whatever I say going it's public, right? Yes. What has surprised you with 2023? Mm -hmm. What um? In general, general. General. Okay. In your life, right? Yeah. What has surprised you in 2023? Mm -hmm. What have you learned about yourself in 2023? Mm -hmm. And what are you most looking forward to in 2024? Three questions. Okay. So you're gonna call this this video three <laughs> questions with sure? the siblings. Okay. Lego. Surprise! Surprise me. Um, I don't make it too too too, too personal. Too mm -hmm. personal. But I think what surprised me in and we talked about this earlier, how people sometimes get offended quite easily. Mm. I think I, I, I think 2023. But to, to be honest, is not. I won't say the year of offense, but it just seems like. Be, like any little thing someone says it, it can be taken out of context things are twisted you know people, with it. Is, it, is it that people have become so sensitive yes yeah, sensitive. and i think social media now it's like everyone because everyone everyone has an opinion and stuff like mm. that which is fine we're just like people just don't know how to take talk anymore yeah right. you know just if someone says something oh whatever in it keep it moving people mm. always had something you know, hold a friend stuff like that I thought, so i think that was probably quite surprising 
um, I don't know why. It's just really like yeah, yeah not just surprising, but you think it's well. but do you think it's based on the era that we grew up in? Yeah, we grew up in the. We're not telling them when, because we don't yeah. want them to know our age. We grew up in the era where... Just very, a lot younger. <laughs> we're really young. We're really, really young. We, not we. We're really young. We're speaking friends, but go on. We. Yeah. We. Oh, yeah. Really young. Yeah. We. You know? We grew up in the era, also where we grew up to. Yeah. South. South. Um, and then in the, in the, the, the way we were, were taught as well. Mm -hmm. We often had to fend for ourselves exactly. against a lot of people. Yeah. You know, so we, we had to grow up tough. Yeah. We had to grow up taking talks and being able yeah. to give talks yeah so to speak right. you think that that has any merit on what you've noticed now whereas i don't know if it's gen z because listen this generation coming up here mm. i listen i'm praying tongues for them <laughs> no, no no for real for real i just pray listen i just uh. like it's just it's just so different now man and the weird thing is about it yeah is i feel like oh i'm thinking Dwayne. like the thing that i'm thinking and and and, and the things that like I do, or maybe the things that I I think is okay. I feel like when are you like, you know, are you kind of like old because, like, a lot of things they say and do now, I'm just like, you know, yeah, what yeah. they're doing and saying. So um, I don't know. It's just been you know, All a right. bit thingy. Oh okay. yeah. Next question. Surprise. So what, no, no. about yourself? What you've learned about yourself this year? Oh gosh. Um, I learned. What about myself? I learned that I can just say no. Mm. I learned to just say no. Mm -hmm. I learned that I don't have to be harsh upset, with it. Harsh yeah. with it. Just say no. Mm -hmm. It's fine to say no. Fine to say no. It's fine. It's fine to say no. Just say no. Just you know, what I mean, live that because you don't want to be stressing yourself out. You know, for, you know, for certain things. Just, you know, it's no. And saying no, and setting clear boundaries helps you and helps other person as well. Yes, sir. So, so that's what I learned. I learned to just you know, just to say no, just to set boundaries. And it's not a bad thing. It's just it's just what it is. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with saying no. I was the victim, and you and you talked about this, the victim of like sometimes feeling guilty, mm. you know, um, when people maybe want your time or want something or want something from you, and like, you're, you're like, oh my gosh, you feel like you have to do it. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to do it. You you know? So to. I learned I can do that and do it with, uh, you know, just, you know, just do it normally. And, you know, and just live life, man. Just live, I learned to just live life. Right. I just got up and came to Trinidad. <laughs> you know what I mean, innit? Just yeah. live life. Just, just decide what to do, which walk, walk off you want. Um, we are Starbucks now, by the way. Why is she got an American accent? Uh, babe, hi, <laughs> hi, darling. Um, Wait, hold on. <laughs> my brother is giving trouble. So if you hear some giggling, it's No, but I don't, I don't understand. Um, why is she got an American accent? Brother giving trouble. Yes, in the then car they here. On him? Yeah, amen. No, no, no. So truly, no. I, I like you. So I like you a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I like you a lot. This is on him. So what do you want? Do you want like a... Just whatever, coffee, like, latte, something. A latte, a coffee latte. Yeah. Um, hot. You like a coffee latte? Yeah. Hot? Yeah, hot, yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. And uh, yes. Yeah. And what size? what size? Medium, please. Medium. She got my camera open. I'm going to <laughs> <laughs> I, I want something that is chilled. Um, I don't know. You don't know what I want? Yeah. I, what I, kind of, oh, by the way. What kind of milk? Yes, oh, um, my order. No, I don't know what I want. <laughs> what <really? laughs> if, uh, uh, Cafe latte. Can I have oat milk, please? Grande, Grand is medium, technically. Yes. Yes. Oat milk or something. Do you? Um, you want oat milk? Yeah, I don't want cow milk. Um, do you have oat milk? Yes, we do. Can you substitute the for oat milk, please? For the latte. Yeah. Yes. Sure. And all right. See, so and see, what holiday drink do you have that I could try? That's cold. You can have milk, caramel, you can have coffee, you can have the dulce, cinnamon, you can have red velvet. Red velvet. I'll try that. Mm -hmm. Red velvet. Yeah. The cappuccino. Yeah. That's it for your order? That's it for my order. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm really well trained to sound like you sound in America. That's how, if, if that's how they were trained to sound, that's how they were trained to sound. Yeah, but you sound trained when you say put it on, man. <laughs> well, that's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, we look nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but I have nice skin. You know about you. Are you still calling? Yeah. Okay, well, we have enough conversation. All right, all right, yeah. Right. Yeah. <coughs> so I learned just to just to live life, you know. Live life. If you want to do something, do it. If you don't do something, do it. If someone wants to want to do something, just just live life. That's what I learned. Right. And I'm just you know just living life. You need to love for you, you know. Yeah. So, what about you? What what do you? Where are you there? I learned that this year people can surprise you, hmm. and in the worst way possible. Mm -hmm. 
I learned that without like you without giving too much away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you can't put your head on a block for anybody. Mm-hmm. You know. And I'm not saying that people are going to willingly disappoint you, but sometimes they have to disappoint you. Yeah. Or they do things that unknowingly hurt you. You know? Um whether knowingly or unknowingly. I, I learned that Gabby says people ain't shit. <laughs> Yeah, my youtube friend okay, okay. he's like oh send you people <laughs> you know that kind of thing but, yeah. um i would not say that to an extent mm-hmm. but but i learned that mm, mm. human being mankind oh god man yeah do you have you lost hope be honest in certain you know in you know in um like i can see you've selected people? friends more selectively now. I'm, I'm more selective now yeah yeah i've, I've had some mm. But I think God has been putting me through the paces for the past few years where friends are concerned. Mm. And it, it's happened like that because of the fact that, as you know, I've always been a loner. But I just went, like everything with me, I went straight into it. Yeah. Without pick, having God to allow me to say, okay, this is what I want for you. Right, this yeah. is the person I want to be. Yeah. So for the past few years, God has been dealing with me. Mm-hmm. And the people, I, I have to learn not everyone has to be in my inner circle. Come on. <laughs> you know, and for me, I take friendship so seriously that if I say you are my friend, you're my sister, you're my brother. Yeah. So I have male friends who are friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have female friends who are friends. And I have associates, I have colleagues, I have, yeah. you know. Like I learned that people are going to cut you, they're going to cut you deep. Uh, that is how you I, I wouldn't say I've lost hope mm. but I've become wiser that's okay. what I learned yeah. uh, okay. this year what I learned about that was new for me this year right, right, right. I've, as you know I've done a lot of crying this year yeah a lot a lot of crying this year yeah. which which is going to allow me to segue into my second point yeah what I learned about myself I don't have to be strong all right I don't need to be strong okay. anymore that's a good point yeah that's yeah. a good thing you know yeah and um, um, it's okay to be weak mm. because in my weakness, God is strong. Amen, amen. And amen. I've learned that I no longer want to be the strong black woman. Yeah, no. it that's weird. not a positive thing. It, 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 it seems like it's a yeah. strong black woman. It seems very yeah. positive, but it's, yeah. it's hard. Mm-hmm. People tend to pile things on you mm. with the perception of, well, she could take it. Yeah. yeah I remember a friend, she meant well. Yeah. She was telling me, come on, Cindy, you're stronger than that, you know. When things happen, you know, and you're back against the wall, you know, you, you, mm. you push off and you keep fighting. I don't want to be like, I don't want to always yeah. have to be in fight. Fight mode, no. Mode. Yeah. Yeah. You know, recently. Pardon? 86? Yeah. yeah. That's for you two drinks, right? Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. yeah. Um... Like I've been telling Peter recently, but we joking and stuff. I'll be like, soft life me, please. So, yeah, yeah, soft life me, please. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> with the advent of TikTok, I've learned about about I learned I've, I've learned a lot about men and women relationships. Okay. And we're all just trying to survive. Right. Yeah. With so many flaws. Right. And so many traumas. Okay. Um, oh. And if one person's trauma and another person's trauma, if you don't deal with it, you're always going to end up, yeah. you know. Traumatic. <laughs> so this year I learned about myself. I, I don't have to be sure. Yeah. I don't want to always have to be sure. Yeah. I don't want to always have the person. I don't always want to be the person to always have it together. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I don't want to always have to be the person to have it all together. I don't want to always yeah. have to be the person that someone could call and say, "Oh, Cindy, show sure. uh, Yeah, you I, know. Yeah. It, 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 it can be tiring mm. it, and it, sometimes I feel like I can't, I'm not allowed to be soft yeah. I'm not allowed to cry I'm not allowed to you know, I'm, I know I'm strong in God I know yeah. I'm a warrior, I know I yeah. can pray and all these things yeah. but is that all my life is going to be no. can't I rest in the fact that yeah. my husband's got me, God's got me my yeah. brother's got me, yeah. the men in my life hi Yes, he, yes. Is that an American accent? Is that an American accent? Oh, okay. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. She no come problem. Come to face me. Yeah. She come. She come to face me. Oh, we 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 vlog in. So he's. Well. <laughs> no, it's fine. That's okay. Coming to the vlog. Yeah. What's up? Yes. Thank you. 
No, no, nothing. Oh, yeah. Nice. Thank you. Don't mind my business. No, wait, the free stuff? No, sir. Yeah. Thank you. I'll do that later today. Mind the business that pays you. Yo, this is the guy who's chatting the stuff, yeah? She pulled up on him. I'll be like, scratch, scratch. What were you saying? I'm trying to pull up on you. Don't be one in your mouth. They will pull up on you, man. Like, try. Yeah, so, yeah but I hear what you're saying, though, sis. Yeah. I so, do hear what you're saying, you know. And is it this? Is, this is this is all. This is also something I'm I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Is it a black woman mm -hmm. on the whole? Thank you, darling. That's nice. Yeah. I'm gonna show them the camera. That's alright. Yeah. Right. This is red velvet. I'm not like playing crappy latte, like. How can she get it? Red velvet. Look, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's that's nice. A three months hot. Like. You got the straw? Yeah, they yeah, don't have new one yet. But it's a black woman. That Why is it? That. Why is it a compliment to say you're a strong black woman? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. why is it a compliment that I be a strong black woman? Because why? that's what society's done in it. It's like because they've they've lauded this idea of um, a strong black woman. I mean, it's know, okay yeah. to be strong. Yeah. But I can also be feminine, and yeah. I don't want to say weak, but I can be soft. Yeah. And sometimes when I want to be soft, I yeah. want to rest in the fact that. Yeah. It's okay, yeah. you know, not to have it all together. So, so that's what I learned about myself. Do what you, I'm looking for. Yeah. Do you think that uh, this is not, not a man woman thing, but let's just ask the question. Do you think that some, the reason that some men, maybe in your life, just afraid out there, um, or just people in your life in general, haven't taken their positions, which meant that you had to be strong, men or women, be a strong um, black woman, as, as you say. Mm -hmm. And I don't just mean men having stepped up, but maybe even women or mm -hmm. people in general have depended on you so much that you had to be that person but now you're like wait hold up you ain't killing yeah. me yeah kind yeah. of thing um thank, thank you. you can i have a shot please darling yeah. okay. thank, thank you. you kind of thing you know what i mean um I, I would tend to say no okay in a way because weird was an integral part of my life and yeah. weird i remember i was having this conversation with peter yeah. weird yeah. Was the one man, and I like it right now, I feel it to cry. Right. That stood for me. Wow. Fought for me. Wow. Looked after me. Good man. As a sister. For those who don't know, Wade is my big brother. You've Wade never seen him online champion, as, champion, far, champion. as yeah. far as I know. Yeah. You know, but Wade has always been that yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, everybody knew me growing up. I was the miserable child. I was they used to call me Evelyn, troubling. Mm -hmm. Where you used to call me boy, so hey little boy, because I'm doing <laughs> all kind of madness, hey boy, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So Wade has been that for me. Yeah. My dad, that's a whole kettle of fish, you all have never heard me talk about my dad, and I don't think I'm ready for that, yes. Yeah. That's a lot of unpacking that needs to be done. <laughs> my uncles, my uncles have stepped in yeah. to take the place where my dad couldn't or wouldn't. But they, they stepped in financially and kind of like being there, but not emotionally. Right, right. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. um, some stuff happened when I was younger that, uh, that put me on a trajectory of... First, I didn't love myself. I didn't love how I looked. I didn't love pe people's reaction to me. It was a whole lot. Yeah. A whole, whole lot. But, um, so I can't say it's just the men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dad didn't step in, okay. but my brother did step in and my right. uncles did step in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those who don't know, me being married to Peter, even though we've been married a great number of years, um, I was married before. Right, yeah. So with me being married to before, but for about five years, my ex-husband was a provider. He was a protector, but the emotional intelligence was not there. Right? That was... A lot of stuff happening there mm -hmm. so there were times that through trauma through certain things growing up through certain relationship i felt like i had to rely on myself i could only rely on myself i could rely on my strength mm -hmm. and okay then growing up my uncles my mom is like ask cindy cindy could think it cindy could you know right yeah, ask cindy um yeah. cindy 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 because because i became so self-reliant right you know um I remember my mom and I had this conversation. Mommy and I had this conversation a few years ago after Clancy died. And this, I'm not saying this to make my mom look bad. I'm not saying this because you all know I love my mama. Don't say nothing bad about my mama. 
because this vlog going to end up in problems. We go right for you. We go right for you. <laughs> so, um, I was always a sickly child, but I was always a very, for want of a better word, troublesome child. Mm -hmm. Um, so coming down to the later part of my sister's life, um, we both entered a competition. At the end of the competition, I won. Yes. My sister didn't win. My sister was sick at the time, right? For those who don't know, it's not something that is hidden because my sister was an activist. She had HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. She was very vocal about it. So that's something that I could hide because she was vocal about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So in the last, in the ends of her life, right? So then I won the competition and uh, my mom and my dad came to the back. My dad just did nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and both of them went to Clancy right. because Clancy didn't win. Right. But I'm still here yeah. as a child, Yikes. having encountered certain things growing up as well. Mm. And I remember I had that conversation with Mama and saying, you don't understand how it made me feel. Mm. And they took Clancy and they left. Yeah. And I had to travel home. My friend Aaron picked me up to take me home. Right. And he was like, oh, congratulations, Cindy, ding, 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 whatever, 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 whatever. You know, I got that from a friend. Yeah. You know? And I was made, I, I felt like, okay, I had to suck it up. Because you're sure, suck it yeah, up, yeah, right? Yeah. And years after, I was having a conversation with mommy, and she was saying she didn't intentionally do it, right? But because I've always been so self reliant, so self sufficient, exactly, you know, it she didn't, she they didn't think that it was something that they needed, needed to, to do. do. But I, I'm also, I'm still not the person that likes to hug people, yeah. But I cannot take a hug that day, right? I could have heard, um. Well done, Cindy. Yes. Whatever the case may be. Yeah. Um, that was all that competition time was also the time that I met Peter. For yeah. those who don't know again, Peter and I met online. Yeah. And Peter was trying to come down and whatever. And he called, he was like, How did you do this? Is the, this is probably the second time I'm talking to Peter on the phone. He's like, How did you do? I say I won. He's like, I know you could do it, congratulations, and you know this kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I got that from thing. Yeah. But it's not because my parents wouldn't, but they felt that they didn't have to. Yeah. So yeah. all those instances right. is where I felt I had to rely on myself right. and I have to push the feelings down yeah. and you know all this kind of thing and I had to so it's not necessarily because of the men in my life right. per se. So I've had to unlearn and relearn certain things this year and I'm learning I don't have to be strong anymore. Mm. I don't have to and it's because of past experiences I, I could bring that into my new ex, my new relationship and cause so many yeah. Cause new trauma misunderstanding in yeah, and misunderstandings yeah, yeah, and stuff, yeah, right? Exactly. exactly. So and I told I told my sister, I know she'll be watching this. Hi, see, hope you're enjoying your vacation. I, I told her, say, Peter and I doesn't work out. I good. Mm. I good. Yeah, that's right. That's too long. I, I, I don't think <laughs> I want to put myself there anymore mm. because I've realized that so many people are they're so scared, mm. and I'm being pers being honest. Not many men are seeking the help that they need. Mm. To it's get true. better, it's true. whether it's spiritually, whether it's finding a good mentor, yeah. whether it's um, what's the word? Whether it's going to therapy, a lot of women doing the work. White, yeah. black, China, a lot of women doing the work, yeah. but a lot of men not doing the work. So I don't know where my video ended because my phone is in the phone holder and it overheats, so it's cooling down. So I'm using my brother's hot phone. Sun, hot sun. So I'm using my brother's phone right now. I don't know where it ended. But for me, 2024. Yeah. So that's it, yeah. Improved Cindy. Improved Cindy. Mm, yeah. My body, my mind, my spirit. Yeah. The renewing of my mind is so important. I have a lot of things I need to change. Mm. Right. I need to change it to be better for me and for the people around me. Right. I have a lot of decisions that I need to make. Yeah. And I need to mm. I need to decide. You know what the Bible says, but go, uh, let a yeah be yeah. And your name be yeah. I need to stand on business. Come on. I need to stand on business and let my yay be here and let my yeah. maybe me. What do you mean by that? Dig that? Explain that to me a bit more. I think that... Now I was talking to Cynthia this morning and I was talking yeah. about boundaries. Yeah. I think I allow people to cross my boundaries come a on, lot. Come on. <laughs> I didn't realize. You see, like you said, you're a people pleaser. I didn't realize I'm the people pleaser. Yes. I didn't realize that. And I said it in a previous vlog. I didn't realize that. Mm. 
I would try to force people to love me or want me or want me in the circle or try to buy you. That done. That done. You know, it's but it's also things I have to. Uh, it, it, that mindset is not something. I just mean you don't love them, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. And then what I realize then is, hmm. as you, what's the word? As you stand on business, you stand on yeah, yeah, stand on business, meaning you stand on your word. Yeah. People who are accustomed getting their own way with you, are, they're going to get angry. Yes. They're going to set it. They're going to say a change. They're going to say this. They're going to say that. You have to change. You have to change, right? <laughs> but I, I'm excited for what exactly. 2024 is going to bring. Excited exactly. for everything new. Yeah. The career, the body, the mindsets, spiritually. Yeah. I took a I took a step back from worship. Some time ago, I just came back into worship. I took like eight months off. I had to work because of work. Yeah. Right. And. I How did that go? It was good. Okay, good. Good to the extent that I realized that I was so involved in just doing the work right. and not understanding who I'm working for. Right. Okay. Right? I need I, I, I needed to spend more time in God. And not just there come there came, there became a time where I couldn't differentiate between my words and God's words. Yeesh. Yeah, that, that's when you interest and rock back. Right. Yeah. So that's that's exactly what happened. 2024 a lot more travels happening yeah. I, I i think 2024 is the is the is the year of doing me i'm doing yeah. me yeah. it's about me yeah. it's about me yeah. i felt like i've been people pleasing for so long mm. friendships relationships uh, uh, oh, family say it, family. Say it. Talk, tell it, the it, truth it, it's 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 yeah you know everything around yes you know it's easy <laughs> I will say I'm not going to do this because this person has offended me and I'm staying away from it. And then I go right back, right back. You know, so 2024, I'm going to have surgery in 2024. Okay. Plastic I know, surgery. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. This is news, fresh, fresh off the yeah. press. Okay. Plastic surgery. Um, we're gonna be bummer somewhere then. I like my little bummer. No, 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 Cindy cut out this piece here and that's that's about it. But it's not not anything as my face like I always say the face card never declines. Yeah. So I have nothing to do with my face. Face card never declines. Because it's pretty. <laughs> I'm right. pretty. I don't take that one. Face card never declines. I'm that one for sure. With or without <laughs> makeup, the face <laughs> card never, never declines. declines. <laughs> yes, trust me, yeah. You know? <laughs> so um I also I have been considering but I'm not sure um braces. Only because one, I, I'm, I'm not considering to close the gap. That gap is going to stay yeah, there. That's a nice gap. Oh yeah, that's that, like a that gap is going to stay yeah. there to yeah. the end of time. Yeah. Oh, but that's that's not too bad in Trinidad. No, no, no. But I may I may do it via medical tourism in like I don't know Venezuela. Or Turkey. Yeah, Dominican Republic yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah. Really cheap over there. Yeah. Dominica. Medical medical tourism is much cheaper. Like, fill in here. Root canal. Really. Yeah, but you see me here. Yeah. Like I reckon I'll be three thousand something. That's right. If I yeah, That's TT. Right. Yeah, if I go to Dominican Republic, that three thousand something could get me three root canals. Oh, yeah, listen, yeah. Mm -hmm. That might be it, you know. That's what I'm trying to say. Like in different countries, teeth. Like it's just so it's just so like there's such a disparity. Let's go to Turkey now. So I heard Turkey is very good. You For know. medical tourism, ooh, we can go and have our teeth I heard done. Turkey is exquisite. Trust me. I saw a woman in the market here. Yeah? She had a whole row, like both up and down white. No, I'm, I'm being honest, yeah. A whole row white teeth. Why? I'm like, wrong. But did it look good? It looked good. Did it look fake? No, no, no. It looked good. It looked very yeah, good. Yeah. She's like, yeah, she went to Turkey. She paid a, a, a few things, white, white, everything, all of yeah, it. Yeah, I heard, I heard Turkey is. Hmm. And it's even cheaper than me, Kevin. You need to knock me out for that, though. I'm so serious. So I'm not messing around with that. I don't want to hear, I don't want to feel, I don't want to see that. I just want to get white teeth. Trust. I don't want to feel anything because teeth ah, turn that drill him off. No, yeah, no. but they could um, that's a negative. You can like put on I don't know, no, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see, it. I don't want to feel anything. I don't want to feel any pressure. I was gonna be knocked out, get up and get up, and I'm yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> it could be a show for a couple of days, whatever, that's fine. But I don't want to, you know, that's like a whole rose. You know? How much would be like a whole upper and bottom row over here? Like to do what? To wipe, none to clean, and it? To, 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 no, to take everything, the new teeth. 
You mean like implants? Yes. You yeah. want implants? I didn't say I want it. I was asking and inquiring. <laughs> <laughs> so, know. okay, so let me get this straight. Yeah, yeah. New teeth. We're talking about taking out the teeth that you do have. Yeah. Put in the kind of screw thing in your jaw. Yeah. And put in the new teeth. What do you think Turkey does? That's what they do. I know. Yeah. I want to laugh at two in the back. Because, because back. No, yeah, I'm talking about yeah. the whole thing. No, for me. Okay. Because remember, some years ago, I had. You probably would, I, mm -hmm. I was singing and something was in yeah, my throat. Yeah, you had, yeah, I remember you. you and lip goes by, but realized that it was the yeah. wisdom teeth didn't come out and it was causing a lot of erosion, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. So I missed two. It was perfectly good on top, but at the bottom it was gone. Okay. And then the wisdom teeth, it went down and it shifted underneath. It was causing real problems. So when I sing, laugh, whatever the case may be, you don't see it because it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? But you feel it. But I feel it. Okay. You know, so I'm, I'm considering doing that. Okay. But we can find out and we can go, we can make it, we can make it a trip. Tourism. Go Turkey, to go Turkey and, and get your teeth done. You can't tell nobody though. <laughs> it's on the vlog. Yeah, but other than them, them, you can't tell nobody though. <laughs> you can't tell friends and family like, Dwayne, ah! your teeth are so wild that like, you know, yes. You know, Colgate. Colgate! 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 Yeah, trust me. Yeah. I'm all of it, you know, cousin. Trust me, man. I think one tooth in China is 27,000 thousand dollars. 20 something thousand? One tooth. One tooth. Yeah. Twenty something thousand. Yeah, one tooth. That's two thousand. Yep. Nah, let's go Turkey. Let's go Turkey. Oh yeah, want to go Turkey now? Turkey leg. Oh my God. Fridge. Are you cooking? Are you cooking? Why are you in the kitchen? Why are you in the kitchen? Right now, right now it's on the vlog, so you all will know. They are three hammer now. Why are you living high life, boy? Three hammer. But say it for Christmas though, don't eat all the ham, is it? Yours, yours, bake any ham yet, mommy? Don't let them bake, don't bake it, 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 don't bake it for Christmas, don't bake it, 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 don't bake Nah, I said I'm saying that. Don't bake it yet. Cindy, come on. When she gone, bake it. What do you need? No, I mean, Shagwanas. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she gone by now. She gone now on the plane. Yeah. All right, 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 right. Right, everybody's like, I'm going for that. Yeah. And then some friends, I'm going to be on that plan. Yeah. Right? My neighbors are going to be on that plan. I didn't tell you when I woke up this morning, I saw the front, front door open. Yeah. Right, but um, they didn't get into us, but they went by the neighbor and then rocked the neighbor. Just so, you know. Just so. 3.45 yeah, when I opened the middle door, I was like, why my front door yeah. open? No so they the, the open and it's too locked. And it's too locked, but we they pick the lock, you know. What is that dead bolt? Yeah, so. And they pick a lock. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. we didn't see if for them to pry it open, mm -hmm. they would have seen the, the, the lock part still out. Yeah. It was it was normal. Yeah, it was normal. It was Just normal, so. yeah. Front door money open it. I don't know. They're coming out the presence of God and gone out. That's not good enough. You think it's one person? It's one person. I feel so. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's because I hear the dogs barking. I'm hearing the dogs barking, but the dog, I find that the dog song in so close. Right. So it's not something muffled as it yeah, used to sound. The door open then. So that was like, and I looked down on the floor in the middle door. I was like, I've seen light. <laughs> and I opened the middle door and I was like, look, I seen Azul, right? Azul, I seen Azul watching me like, hey, Cindy, what's up? Front door open wide. Huh. I said, <laughs> my God. I said, 3.45 a.m. this morning. <laughs> easy, 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 you know. I feel so. Just know, yeah, mommy. Just know, mommy. Guys, we're ending the vlog here. Yes. Because we we have a lot of personal information that we need to personal discuss. Personal information. So from me to you, much love. From my home to yours, much love. Keep looking beautiful, guys and girls, because we know we do. Bye. Bye.